Hello my dear children hope you all are in a good state of health and you must be studying seriously as your first term exams are approaching so my dear children today we will study chapter number 9 of reader book the secret garden dear children uh, let us have an idea about the chapter okay this is an extract from francis hogson burnis book the secret garden 10 year old mary lennox was born in india sadly her parents died and her uncle brought her to yorkshire england living in her uncle's large house she hears stories of a secret garden surrounded by walls locked for the last 10 years which nobody can enter one of mary's friends is a pet robin belonging to the garden one day the robin helps mary find the key to the lock and enter the secret garden so dear children this is a very interesting story about a girl mary and her pet robin and this is about a secret garden Mary was a, a little girl she was born in India but her uncle brought her to England because her parents had died so she came to England with her uncle and there she heard about the stories she heard the stories about a garden that was locked for the last 10 years which nobody can enter so this is what we are going to read so let us see what is there in the story but children before uh, we start reading the chapter you first write down the meanings of some difficult words in the chapter bare flower bed bare flower flower bed mean children patch of garden without any plants or flowers number 2 turned up turned up means dug up number 3 orchard orchard means a piece of land on which fruit trees are grown for example apple orchard orange orchard number 4 ivy is a type of climbing plant number 5 spray means branch number 6 trill a song with high pitched p i t c h e d pitched vibrating notes number 7 gust sudden strong wind number 8 trailing trailing means growing downward and hanging in thin branches number 9 wonder surprise number 10 mysterious strange 11 matted together stuck close and thickly together entire whole whispered to speak very quietly in somebody's ear stillness silence hopped to jump with all feet together for birds so my dear children let us read the chapter be attentive mary heard a chirp and a twitter and when she looked at the bare flower bed at her left side there was a robin hopping about you do remember me she cried out you do you are prettier than anything else in the world she was so happy she cried uh, that robin remember her the robin allowed her to draw closer and closer to him and bent down and talk and try to make something like robin sound so robin was not afraid her she let her to draw closer and robin tried to make something like robin sounds as the robin hopped about she saw him hop over a small pile of freshly turned up earth dug up earth he stopped on it to look for a worm 
so when uh, robin hopped about what she saw she saw him hop over a small pile of freshly turned up uh, turned up means dug up earth so he stopped on it and he looked for a worm there the earth had been dug up by a dog who had made quite a deep hole now the land was dug up by a dog mary looked at it and saw something buried in the soil she found something was lying in the soil it was something like a ring of rusty iron or brass and when the robin flew up into a tree nearby she put out her hand and picked the ring up it was an old key which looked as if it had been buried a long time so she uh, pick up pick up the she picked up the ring but it was not a ring what it was it was old key which looked as if it had been buried a long time mary stood up and looked at it with an almost frightened face as it hung from her finger so mary picked it up but she was frightened as it hung from her finger perhaps it has been buried for 10 years she thought that it might have been buried for 10 years the key she said in a whisper perhaps it is the key to the garden and in a very low voice she said ki uh, maybe it is the key to the garden which garden the secret garden she looked at the key quite a long time now she was surprised she was wondering and she was also frightened she thought that if it was the key to the closed garden and she could find out where the door was she could open it and see what was inside the wall now she thought to himself if it is the key it was the key to the closed garden and she could come to know where the door was she could open it and um, see what was inside the wall she put the key in her pocket and went back home the next day mary took her skipping rope and skipped round all the gardens and round the orchards fruit garden she stopped to rest a while and there was a robin again now next day what she did she she took her skipping rope and she skipped all round the gardens then she again saw the robin swinging on a long branch of ivy ivy is a type of climbing plant he had followed her and he greeted her with a chirp so robin followed her and he greeted her with a chirp you showed me where the key was yesterday now mary was very happy she said that robin showed her the key she said show me the door today but i don't believe you no the robin flew from his swinging spray of ivy on the top of the wall and he opened his beak and sang a loud lovely thrill now she asked robin that thank you for showing me the to help uh, the key now can you show me the door also but i don't believe that you know a little gust of wind rushed down the path and it was stronger than usual it was strong enough to wave the branches of the trees and sway the trailing ivy hanging from the wall suddenly the gust of wind swung aside some loose ivy and mary saw something under it so there was a little gust of wind that rushed down the path and it was stronger than usual and it was strong enough to wave the branches of the trees now suddenly the gust of wind swung aside some loose ivy 
and Mary saw something under it. A round knob which had been covered by the leaves hanging over it. What she saw? She found a round knob that was covered by the leaves hanging over it. It was the knob of a door. What was it? It was the knob of a door. She put her hands under the leaves and began to pull and push them aside. The ivy hung thickly like a loose and swing, swinging curtain. Mary's heart began to thump and her hands began to shake a little in her delight and excitement. Now she was very excited and she was delighted. She was very happy. She was excited and due to this, her heart begins to beat fast and her hands begin to shake a little. The robin kept singing and twittering away and tilting his head on one side. Now robin also kept singing and uh, twittering and he was tilting his head one side as if he were as excited as she was. She was, he, he was, Robin was expressing his happiness. What was this under her hands? Which was secure and made of iron. It was the lock of the door which had been closed for 10 years. Now what was under her hand? Lock of the door that was closed for 10 years. She put her hand in her pocket, drew out the key and found that it fitted the keyhole. Now what she did, she, uh, she was having a key in her pocket. She put her hand in her pocket, drew out the key and opened the lock. She put the key in and turned it. It took two hands to do it but it turned. Now it was the key of that lock only. Which lock that was? Lock for 10 years. And then she took a long breath and looked behind her up the long walk to see if anyone was coming. When the lock was open, she was very happy and relaxed. No one was coming. No one ever did come. It seemed and she took another long breath and held back the swinging curtain of ivy and pushed back the door which opened slowly. Now before entering the garden, that sacred garden, she looked, she looked behind her up the long walk to see if anyone was coming but nobody was there. Then she felt relaxed and then she opened the door slowly then she slipped through it and shut it behind her and stood with her back against it looking about her and breathing quite fast with excitement and wonder and delight now she entered the sacred garden she she, uh, shut the door and stood with her back against it and she was very excited and surprised also. She was standing inside the sacred garden. Why she was delighted and excited? Because she was standing inside the sacred garden. It was the sweetest, <coughs> most mysterious, strange looking place anyone could imagine. The high wall which shut it in were covered with the stem of climbing roses which were so thick that they were matted together. Now <clears throat> when she entered the secret garden she found the place uh, most mysterious and sweetest and she was the first one who entered the sacred garden after 10 years. Then what was there? <clears throat> the wall was covered with stems of climbing roses. 
Mary knew they were roses because she had seen a great many roses in India. Rose bushes covered the entire garden and everywhere the whole garden was covered with rose bushes. Indeed, it was different from any other place she had ever seen in her life. She had never seen such a place. How still it is. She whispered, how still. So everything was calm and quiet, but wonderful. Then she waited a moment and listened to the stillness. The robin who had flown to his treetop was silent too. Now she was there, she was listening to the silence. Robin who had flown to his treetop was also silent. He did not even flutter his wings. He was also still. He was also listening the silence. He sat without staring and looked at Mary. No wonder it is still, she whispered again. Again in a very low voice, she said, No wonder it is still. Surely it is very still. I am the first person who has spoken in here for 10 years. She said, no wonder it is still. But she, she, is the, she was the first person who has spoken there for 10 years. She moved away from the door, stepping softly as if she were afraid of waking someone up. Now, she moved away from the door and she stepped inside the garden but very slowly. She was glad that there was grass under her feet and that her steps made no sound. Due to the grass, her steps made no sound and she was very happy with this. The sun was shining inside the four walls and the high blue sky over it seemed softer and more brilliant than it was anywhere. She found it brilliant. She found it wonderful in the garden. And she felt that the high blue sky over it seemed softer than more and more brilliant than it was anywhere else. The robin flew down from his tree drop and hopped about or flew after her from one bush to another. Now Robin was with her and he followed her from one bush to another. He chirped, chirped a good deal and had a very busy ear as if showing her things. Now he was busy. He was also excited. He was feeling as if he was showing the things to Mary, he was very busy. Everything was strange and silent and she seemed to be hundreds of miles away from anyone. Now, nobody was there. Perfect silence was there. Stillness was there. And what she felt, Mary felt, she felt as she, uh, as she seemed to be hundreds of miles away from anyone. But she did not feel lonely at all. She felt that she's hundred miles away from anyone. Nobody is around her. But she did not feel lonely at all. So my dear children, what we have studied, we have studied that Mary, she was the first who entered the sacred garden that was locked for 10 years. And who helped Mary to open, to find the key? Robin, the Robin her friend and she was also lucky to find the door and the lock opened and she entered the sacred garden with her friend Robin. She was excited and delighted. She felt proud that she was the first who entered the sacred garden and opened the door. So my dear children, we have studied, we have done the reading of the chapter. So exercises of this chapter we will do in our 
next video. Till then, you revise the chapter, write down word meanings in your notebook and learn them.